Hi, I'm Chef Sarah Tresser, Baking and Application Specialist here at Blodgett Ovens. And now we're ready to bake in your CTB. But before we begin, we have a couple guideline, general guidelines for you. One, I suggest setting your temperature 25 to 50 degrees less than you would if it was a range oven or a deck. Also, you would want to preheat 25 to 50 degrees above your desired set temperature so that way you can compensate for opening the door and loading in cold products. Um, remember though to turn your oven temperature back down to where you actually would like it to be once you've loaded. Um, for all you new convection oven users, your cook times are going to vary a little bit um, based on your load size. So, load size. So, I would start checking your t your product about halfway through your bake time, and then, last but not least, your fans must run for your oven to be heating. Now we're ready to cook some products. I have here some frozen French fries, some roasted. Well, they will be roasted. It's just Idaho potatoes tossed with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then a frozen macaroni and cheese. Um, for the French fries, I've done very one layer, spread out very evenly, and I'm using a perforated sheet pan, and that will allow more air to get underneath to make sure those French fries get nice and crispy. Um, with the roasted potatoes, simply just I just put them right on a regular half sheet pan, and then the frozen macaroni cheese, we're going to start with the lid on and end up taking the lid off so that way it starts to brown. My tip for using these products in your CTB is you can load them in and just simply put them right on high fan because they're very rugged products. They're not delicate. They'll be able to take that, that fan strength on them and it will actually help you quicken your bake time. So now that our other products are already in the oven, I'm just going to give you a little quick tip on baking in your CTB. The CTB comes standard with two speed fans, so you might as well make use of them. Um, we have some muffins here, which are actually a, a little on the delicate side. So I suggest starting with a low speed fan, allowing that muffin to start rising gently, create that skin, and then once it's set, then switch it over to high speed fan so that way you're not drying out the interior of your product and extending your bake time. And then with the cookies here, see how I've evenly distributed them so that way they're not all going to run together. But um, I again s suggest using the low fan to start so that way your cookies can spread. And then once you have, have them spread to the desired amount, then you would just s simply switch it over to high speed fan. And that way you won't extend your bake time and dry out your cookies as well. So now all of our products have come out of the oven. I just want to do a quick little recap for you to, to show you how nice things came out. Um, we have our, our sugar cookies here, which are nice and evenly spread with a nice golden color. The muffins, which are all standing up really nice and tall, and that's because we utilize the low fan and the high fan. And then our crispy, crispy um, french fries and our golden roasted potatoes, which are still nice and creamy on the inside, even and the crunchy on the outside. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and thank you very much and have a great day.